when his body is infected by an alien parasite, a nerdy young man is transformed into a superhero and must use his new powers to protect the planet from an alien threat. Today we're going to recap the story of the Yoke Man series, from 2019. Jim is a high school student who is completely in love with Nina, his best friend, but has never had the courage to reveal his feelings to her. One day, over lunch, he decides to confess his love for the young woman, but gives up when he finds out that she intends to move to the United States, where she will live for the next two years. Meanwhile, an alien life form invades a hospital room and attacks one of the patients. When it enters the room, the nurse is also attacked and ends up being eliminated. To make matters worse, Jim finds Kyle, Nina's ex-boyfriend, in the restaurant restroom and wants to attack him after he offends the girl, but he doesn't have enough courage to do it. That afternoon, on his way home, Jim begins to feel ill and collapses in the middle of the street. Immediately, he is taken to the hospital and, after a battery of tests, the doctor informs him that the young man has a tumor that is spreading rapidly throughout his body. After the diagnosis, Jim learns that he only has three more months to live, which leaves him in a state of complete shock. In an attempt to distract himself, he spends the whole evening playing games with his friends and doesn't even notice when an alien parasite invades the apartment and hides in a soda can. After ingesting the drink, Jim begins to feel ill and goes to bed, without even imagining that an alien being has just invaded his body. While he sleeps, the young man begins to twitch involuntarily and the creature inside his body manages to access the internet. That night, Yoke learns all about humans and the next morning, when he wakes up, Jim realizes that he's not the only one controlling his body. Terrified, he decides to research the possible causes and finds several images of parasites on the internet. Then, on seeing the wound on his chest, the young man comes to the conclusion that he has been infected. Suddenly, Jim receives a call from a woman who wants to know about the symptoms he's been experiencing. Grace asks permission to run some tests on the young man, but Jim decides to rip the thing out of his body by himself and tries to attack himself with a knife. While he fights against his own body, the patient who was infected by the alien in the hospital comes out of a river and walks through the streets looking for Yoke. After several hours of trying to remove the parasite from his chest, Jim sees the creature leave of its own accord and discovers that his nervous system is connected to his. The yellow alien then reveals that, from now on, when one of them is hurt, the other will also suffer. Upon discovering that Yoke is capable of curing his tumor, Jim decides to allow the little monster to combine with his body once again and the creature neutralizes the action of all his host's cancer cells. After performing the cure, Yoke is completely exhausted and Jim needs to eat so that they can both recover their energy. Meanwhile, Ben returns home to find his wife, who is amazed to discover that he has been cured. Hours later, the police go to the hospital and find the body of the nurse he eliminated, so they begin an investigation. The next morning, when Jim wakes up, he realizes that his body is stronger and Yoke reveals that he has made some modifications so that his host can acquire superhuman abilities. As well as super strength, the young man is now able to make huge leaps and run at high speed. However, he needs to keep this secret, because humans can never know about Yoke's existence. When Jim arrives at the school, he spots Nina and his heart starts racing, which sets off a warning signal for the alien, who starts to believe that they are in danger. But the young man explains that he's actually just nervous about meeting his friend, because she's the most important person in the world to him. Now that he has superpowers, Jim goes to talk to Kyle and orders him to leave Nina alone. When he realizes that the evil man isn't listening to him, Jim threatens him and punches the locker room to demonstrate his strength. In this way, he manages to frighten Kyle and forces him to leave Nina alone. That night, instead of eliminating his wife, Ben uses a stinger that comes out of his hand to pierce her neck and takes control of her. When the police show up at Michelle's house to question her about her husband, she prepares to attack them, but Bill and Patrick decide to leave when the woman says Ben is at work and manage to escape unharmed. At school, during lunch, Jim continues to devour an enormous amount of food, which makes his friend worried. Nina then appears and reveals that she has lost the scholarship sponsored by her ex-boyfriend's family and, as a result, will no longer be able to move to the United States. The girl doesn't understand why this has happened, but Jim soon realizes that it's all his fault because he threatened Kyle. Furious, the young man gets up and goes to talk to Kyle and challenges him to a tennis match. If Jim wins, the man must ask his parents to continue Nina's sponsorship. Since it's a two-on-two -two competition, Jim calls his friend to be his partner. However, Stan is a terrible player and loses every match. Despite being an excellent tennis player, Jim realizes that if he wants to win, he will have to allow Yoke to control his body. When the alien takes over, Michelle and Ben manage to detect its presence and go to meet it. In the final stretch of the match, Jim takes the racket from Stan's hands and starts hitting the ball himself. He wins the competition and thanks Yoke for his help. 
Just then, Grace appears and claims to be a member of the tennis club, so she calls Jim for a private chat. However, when they are alone, the young man recognizes the woman's voice and remembers that it was she who called him two days ago. Then Grace reveals the real reason she went to meet Jim and gives him her card so that he can contact her. That night, on his way home, Kyle bumps into Ben in the street and ends up being transformed into yet another Matrix puppet. The next day, during the math test, Jim manages to ace the questions with Yoke's help and is the first in the class to hand in the test. Before leaving the room, the young man passes on some answers to his friends and they all manage to pass the test. That day, Jim asks Nina out on a date and decides to confess his feelings for her. But he's too nervous, so Yoke sends endorphins into his brain and Jim manages to calm down. However, when he sees his friend, nervousness takes over his body again and he has to ask Yoke to help him make the declaration. When the alien takes over, Ben manages to detect it again and Michelle goes after it. Suddenly, Nina's friends arrive at the cafeteria and Jim is embarrassed, so he decides to leave. It's late when Jim walks alone through the streets and comes across Kyle, who attacks him from behind. Unaware that the young man is under the control of a parasite, Jim is hit several times until Yoke realizes that something is wrong. Noticing the scar on Kyle's neck, the alien claims that he has been infected by another of his kind, so Jim allows Yoke to take control of his body in order to fight the enemy as equals. The creature that infected Kyle's brain is called Matrix and Yoke must eliminate it before the other hosts appear. With a short sequence of strategic blows, the alien manages to eliminate his opponent and Jim feels bad for being responsible for his elimination. However, Yoke claims that Kyle was eliminated the moment the Matrix infected his body. When Jim removes the parasite from his classmate's neck, Yoke devours it and claims that feeding on another of his kind gives him a great deal of energy. After the meal, the creature decides to take a nap to digest, but Michelle appears soon after. Since he's alone in this duel, Jim takes quite a beating and tries to fight back, but the parasite inside the woman makes her much stronger than he is. So the young man ends up being captured and, just as he's about to be eliminated, Grace appears and knocks Michelle out with one shot. After Jim gets into the car, she speeds off and takes him home. When he gets there, he meets Stan and the young man reveals that he has seen his friend's medical report. He is shocked to learn that Jim only has three months to live, so the young man decides to tell him the truth. When he discovers Yoke's existence, Stan asks permission to touch him and Nina ends up catching the two friends on the terrace. As the angle doesn't allow the girl to see exactly what is going on, she comes to believe that Jim and Stan are dating and goes into shock. After revealing his biggest secret, the young man asks his friend to promise not to tell anyone about the alien. But as soon as Jim leaves, Stan starts spreading the word. The next morning, the rumor has spread far and wide and Candy goes to Jim's apartment to do an interview. However, Jim denies everything Stan said to the young woman and throws her out. Yoke then attacks the young man and intends to eliminate him in order to keep his existence a secret. So, in an attempt to save his best friend, Jim takes a knife and threatens to cut his own neck, because he knows that if he perishes, the alien will be destroyed too. At that moment, Yoke leaves his host's body and agrees to live by his rules. Otherwise, they will both perish together. Hours later, the police find Kyle and soon come to the conclusion that the criminal is the same person who attacked the nurse, as the woman also had a wound on her neck. When he discovers that he has lost one of his allies, Ben goes in search of new hosts for the Matrix and breaks into a building to find his victims. Upon receiving news of an attack at the academic center, Jim decides to go there to investigate and uses his powers to enter the building. At that moment, he ends up being caught by Bill, but he doesn't notice him, so he continues his mission to find the Matrix. While he's investigating the crime scene, Ben appears and the two start a duel. The man rips Yoke from Jim's body and tries to destroy him. However, just as the alien was about to be crushed, Jim attacks his opponent and manages to save him. The young man then runs out of the window and hides in the crowd. After managing to lose the enemy, Yoke reveals that Ben is the main host of the Matrix and the others are just puppets controlled by him. Because of this, that man is the strongest opponent Jim will ever have to face. The young man is in the subway when he notices the presence of another alien. In an attempt to save the life of the young woman in the carriage, he throws her out of the train before starting the duel. Despite being just a puppet, the man shows great strength and strikes Jim brutally. During the battle, Yoke manages to get out of his host's body to protect him and discovers that he has just received an upgrade to his abilities. After eliminating that man, Jim receives a visit from Michelle and decides to run away, because he knows that if he uses Yoke's power, he will end up attracting other puppets. So he decides to run away and manages to lose Michelle in the subway. The young man then returns home and meets Ben again. However, instead of confronting him, 
Yoke orders his host to flee and Jim collapses after jumping out of the window. Immediately, the alien leaves his body and hides. Soon after, Ben appears and pierces the young man's chest with an iron bar. Just then, the police arrive on the scene and start chasing the criminal, who lures them into a dead end and uses his superpowers to jump away. Luckily, Jim manages to survive the attack and, when the police return to rescue him, they only find the young man's cell phone. Injured and with nowhere safe to go, Jim walks aimlessly until he finds Stan. He asks the young man to call Grace and ask for help. Minutes later, the woman appears and takes Jim to her secret laboratory, where she performs various experiments on him in order to study the changes Yoke has made to his host's body. During the research, Grace discovers that Yoke didn't cure Jim's tumor, all the alien did was divide itself to encompass the cancer cells and prevent them from continuing to multiply. However, now that the creature is no longer in the young man's body, the cancer is spreading even faster. As Yoke is unable to survive for long on its own, the woman believes that it has already found a new host, which means that Jim will perish soon. Since he only has a few weeks to live, the young man decides to leave the laboratory and return to his routine. That same day, Grace receives a visitor in her laboratory and manages to capture the alien who went there looking for Jim. Looking at his reflection in the mirror, Jim realizes that the cancer is spreading faster and faster and his elimination is approaching. Meanwhile, Grace is experimenting with Yoke and claims that her host will be back soon. After class, Jim goes to meet Nina and the young woman tells him that Stan has told her that he is very ill. Ashamed of his appearance and afraid to tell the girl the truth, Jim runs away, but Nina goes after him and hugs him. In the morning, the young man wakes up in his friend's room and leaves before she gets up. When she wakes up, Nina goes after Stan and asks for his help in finding Jim, so they both head to Grace's lab. At that moment, the young man has just arrived and finds Yoke trapped inside an incubator. Jim then accuses him of using him as an object, since the creature didn't cure his cancer and was only using its host's body for its own benefit. Upon hearing this, Yoke reveals that the only way to rid Jim of the disease is to rip all the cancer cells out of his body. However, at the end of the process, the alien would perish. However, after being abandoned by Yoke, Jim can no longer believe him and refuses to allow the parasite to enter his body again. Seeing the young man in confusion, Grace invites him out onto the terrace for some fresh air and, in the meantime, Nina and Stan arrive at the laboratory. At this point, they come across Yoke and the alien asks the young woman to try to convince Jim to merge with him again. Otherwise, they will both be eliminated. Upon hearing this, Stan advises Yoke to try to make peace with the young man, as he considers him a friend. Suddenly, Jim appears and Yoke asks for forgiveness for running away, so they both agree to combine their bodies again. Meanwhile, Michelle and her army of puppets invade the laboratory and eliminate all the scientists working with Grace. Immediately, the woman takes out her pistol and starts shooting at the monsters, but her bullets have no effect on them. So she discards the weapon and starts a hand-to-hand -hand duel with the puppets while she buys time for Jim to recover. During the battle, Grace ends up being wounded, but manages to pull the iron bar out of her body and uses the object to eliminate one of her enemies. At this moment, Jim and Yoke are still synchronizing their bodies and, as the process progresses, the young man notices that his wounds are healing. However, before they were 100% connected, Michelle appeared and tried to pierce the young man with her claw. Despite being injured, Jim manages to immobilize his opponent and Stan wraps high-voltage wires around the woman's neck. Nina then turns on the electricity and Michelle ends up being electrocuted. Now that the way is clear, Jim goes to help Grace and arrives moments before the scientist is eliminated. After finishing off the last Matrix puppet, Yoke devours the parasite and the recombination between the alien and its host is complete. At this point, they discover that Michelle is still alive and, once again, they have to face her. Yoke then uses his claw to attack the woman and pierce her neck, eliminating the enemy once and for all. As usual, after eliminating the host, Yoke feeds on the parasite and this gives him energy for the next battle. The next mission consists of eliminating the original Matrix cell, because if this isn't done, Ben will continue parasitizing human beings and other earthly life forms to turn them into puppets. But before the group could leave the lab, Bill and Patrick showed up and took Jim to the police station in handcuffs. On the way, the policemen come across another of the puppets walking in the middle of the street and have an accident while trying to dodge it. When the car overturns, the pair pass out, then the puppet drags Jim out of the vehicle and begins to beat him. Immediately, the young man gets up and, even with his hands cuffed, manages to knock his opponent down. Jim then pulls the policeman out of the vehicle and manages to find the keys to open the handcuffs. Meanwhile, Nina and the others are on their way to the police station and receive a call from Jim, who sends them his location. When the group meets up, 
The young man hears a noise coming from the river and Yoke reveals that the Matrix is invading Earth. Soon, it will awaken and turn all the creatures on the planet into living puppets. The only way to stop it is to find the alien and eliminate it before it awakens its power. Noticing that the man who attacked Jim is being drawn into the Matrix, Stan turns on the GPS on his cell phone and puts it in his jacket. This way, the group will be able to locate the alien's original host. However, when the puppet enters the water, the cell phone stops working and Yoke reveals that he has placed one of his cells inside the man's body so that he can track him. After being attended to by paramedics, Bill and Patrick continue their search for Jim without even realizing that he and his friends are trying to prevent the extinction of humanity. While driving through the city, Nina spots the puppet and Jim gets out of the car to go after it. After a long chase, the man finally reaches his master's hideout and is eliminated by Yoke, who devours yet another parasite. Just then, Ben appears and Jim has to flee, as Yoke will still have 20 minutes to digest his last meal. During the escape, the police show up and run over Ben. They then help Jim escape and take him back to the Matrix's secret hideout. After reuniting with his friends, Jim decides to reveal Yoke's existence to the police and asks for their help in stopping the enemy. However, Bill and Patrick don't believe much of what the young man is saying until a new puppet comes out of hiding and Jim eliminates him. The plan now consists of eliminating all the puppets so that Jim can reach the Matrix. So Nina decides to act as bait to attract the monsters while her friends are armed outside waiting to destroy them. After Grace eliminates the first puppet, Nina returns to the cave and Jim decides to go after her to make sure nothing bad happens to his friend. However, instead of finding the young woman, Jim comes across Ben and walks towards him with the intention of eliminating him, but ends up being thrown away. At that moment, the young man discovers that his opponent is still stronger than he is, because none of his blows are enough to knock him down. Just as Ben was about to pierce Jim with his stinger, Nina appears and uses a stun gun to attack the enemy. Soon after, Ben stands up again, but Grace shoots him in order to buy time for Nina to escape and Jim stays behind to face his greatest adversary. The young man then allows Yoke to take control and a brutal battle between the two aliens begins. After being hit in the chest, Jim manages to deflect the attack and strikes Ben in the neck, where his parasite is lodged. With this move, he manages to win the battle and eliminate Ben. Jim then goes to find the Matrix and finds the alien monster stuck to the wall. Yoke then begins to absorb the creature's power before it wakes up, but he is unable to retain that large amount of energy. So Jim attaches a bomb to the creature's body and explodes its cocoon. Although weakened, the alien still manages to escape and infects Ben's body once again. Believing that the Matrix has been destroyed, Jim rises from the rubble and walks to the exit, but realizes that the enemy is still alive. While thinking of a way to eliminate it for good, Yoke has the idea of removing the cancer cells from his host's body and introducing them into Ben's body. That way, the parasite will be destroyed from the inside out and Jim will be cured of his illness. Yoke knows that if he does this, his chances of surviving the process are slim. Nevertheless, he decides to take a chance and Jim rushes out of the cave. Seeing Ben coming out right behind him, the policemen start shooting, but end up being attacked. After being electrocuted, the alien becomes even weaker, but survives and runs towards Nina and Stan. However, Jim manages to catch up in time and strikes the creature with his stinger. At that moment, Yoke releases the cancer cells into his enemy's body, but ends up being devoured by the Matrix and asks Jim to flee before he too is infected. The young man is about to be eliminated when he uses a power cable to electrocute him once again and Ben decides to run away. After the attack, Yoke manages to regain control of his enemy's body and climbs a pole. After ripping out the high voltage wires, the alien electrocutes himself, because he knows that this is the only way to save the planet, and ends up being eliminated along with the Matrix. When he realizes that other vehicles are approaching, Bill asks the youngsters to flee so as not to get into trouble and, together with Patrick, ends up taking all the credit for getting rid of the alien. That day, Jim is finally cured of cancer and, a few weeks later, Nina travels to the United States. Before leaving, she says goodbye to her best friend and Jim returns home crying. But now he's been given a new lease of life and he doesn't intend to waste it for a minute. So what did you think of this series? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more series recaps. See you next time.